<laughs> if I had to ask you to guess what pumpkin spice was, what would you say? Oh man, is it somewhere around here? <laughs> <laughs> is it somewhere around here? In America, pumpkin spice is massive. In the 13 years since Starbucks introduced its pumpkin spice latte, or PSL, people who are too busy for syllables, they've sold 200 million cups of the drink, making $100 million from that beverage alone. So I've decided to find out, why is pumpkin spice so popular? And will it ever be as big over here? There are loads of pumpkin spice products. There's ice cream, dog food, pizza, there's pumpkin spice latte beer, there's pumpkin spice air freshener for when you want your room to smell of vegetable, there's pumpkin spice vegan protein powder, there's pumpkin spice water fruit corner. So to conduct a very serious investigation, I decided to go to Starbucks, the home of pumpkin spice. What is in a pumpkin spice latte that makes it different to a normal latte? I mean, I'm assuming pumpkin and spice, but right. can you give me the secrets? What is it? Sure, basically like it's an orange syrup, right? Yeah. And it's really nice. It's like you can get the pumpkin flavor, but you can get like some cinnamon as well. Because I think that stands for the autumn. Yeah. It's just like when you see, I don't know, leaves falling from the trees and then you drink pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. It's just like... And people are more addicted to this one than a oh, normal yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Great, thanks. So there's pumpkin in this powder? Yeah. It's like a kind of popular drink actually. Yeah, yeah. Like everyone's crazy for pumpkin spice since like July. Do they though? We went to ask some people in the street. Uh, have you just ordered a pumpkin spice latte? No. No, no I know what you mean. <laughs> if I had to ask you to guess what pumpkin spice was, what would you say? Oh man, is it somewhere around here? <laughs> <laughs> is it somewhere around here? <laughs> ask you about pepper. Yeah, I know you pepper. You really have no idea what pumpkin spice is, do you? No. no. Okay. Is it a band? Excuse me, mate. Uh, we're from Time Out. Do you mind if we ask you a quick question about pumpkin spice? What's pumpkin spice? I mean, that, you've just asked that question. Yeah, on you go. I've never you? had it before in my life. Never had one before in your I'm life? A, I'm an espresso man. Where, can, do you mind if I ask you where you're from? Uh, from Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. I mean, I thought everyone in America was crazy for pumpkin spice. Not this guy. No. I think I tried it once when I was in New York because I was like, you have to. The, uh, the taste of the pumpkin, it's different, it's nice. I think it just reminds you of this time of year. I think it's that association with sort of autumn, so yeah. But the people who liked it did because it made them feel autumnal. Actually, ask a scientist about it and they'll tell you that people's love for PSL has almost nothing to do with the way it tastes. Do you think that the, the particular flavour combination of pumpkin spice is uniquely appealing? I don't think there's really any evidence for that. If you have some state of the world like autumn or Halloween that is very reliably associated with positive feelings, then your brain makes a note of the kind of sensory experiences that the world is providing during that time and it knows that they're associated with a pleasant feeling. And anytime it's given the opportunity to kind of go out and seek those experiences again, it will push you to do that. And that is essentially the drive to go and consume a pumpkin spice latte. Okay, so your brain thinks, hey, it's autumn, there's pumpkins around, it remembers it, and then later it thinks, oh, I like autumn, pumpkins, and it goes and buys a pumpkin spice latte. That's exactly it, yeah. So why is pumpkin spice so massive? Well isn't. Will it ever take off over here? It doesn't feel like it. Maybe it's because us grumpy Londoners just don't get that excited about autumn. Maybe it's because we're vegetable purists that don't want cinnamon sprinkled on our pumpkins. Or maybe, and this is a tiny chance, it's because when we see a load of hype, us Londoners are just too damn cynical.